Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. It's been very confusing and intense for a lot of people, but I want to let you know what is going on. There is a lot of solstice preparation going on, but it doesn't look anything like what your human mind might have told you it's supposed to look like. There are people coming together with their twin, there are people living with each other and things are different than in previous lifetimes with each other. Now, if this is new to you, if you're just finding out what some of this is, where you looked up words and they led you to, you know, something that said, aha, now it's starting to make sense. Now it's starting to gel together for me. Now I can connect the dots and really see and feel what is going on, then you're in the right place because I have quite a bit of the information of what is going to be happening throughout the seasons as we go forward, beginning with the solstice. Now we are at the end of May. June is here. It's actually um, right around the corner. But what happens here in June is actually also going to repeat itself again next year for the next waves of twin flame couples that will come together. So the solstice is a final equality. And a lot of you might say, but we've been through several equalizers. Yes, and this is the final equal one. This is going to be very extreme for some people, especially if you've dilly dallied or tried to stay put, or your twin has, you might get some extreme stuff that happens. If you've been going with the flow all along, you will find that while things get easier, there may be still some cycles of things that you are cleaning and clearing or purging out. And it may throw you because you might say, hey, wait a minute, I was done with that. There are things that will clear out of your essence and we're going to talk about how do these things equalize, okay? Want to let you know, and this is sort of an eye opener for you, this is intended as an eye opener, worldwide we have concluded karma. Officially it was in 2010. That's when a lot of you met each other or re, were reintroduced to each other. Well, what I can tell you is the old version of you, as I wrote here, let me just tilt this a bit, twinflame.exe has stopped working. Yes, the old version has stopped working. You're not going to be able to do things in the same old way. And here's some news that you might not really be ready to hear. This requires active participation from everyone from both of you. It's not just a one-way street. It's from both of you. And it actually is from everybody, but on different timelines or at different timings of some of this. So if you were to have a big picture, you would see that there's a sequence of events that happens that tends to bring people along where, you know, they will keep moving along somehow. However, even though the energies are here. I mean, this is the equivalent of someone cuts the engine and your boat coast to shore. You still got to be the one to jump off that boat onto the shore. Otherwise, you're going to stay on the boat and, you know, in that medium, which the analogy is water, for a long time. Now, why has twinflame.exe stopped working? Because going from 2010 2012 was the beginning of beginning to start to collapse things, especially for Blu-rays. And if you're a Blu-ray, you're one of the originals. You've given birth to other twin flame angelics. As we go forward, 2014, this was the big one for starting to bring all of the four corners of the universe in for yourself, wherever you've been, Whatever you touched, whatever you ate, whoever you slept with, wherever you lived, time to start bringing it all towards you. And that threw a lot of people for a loop. 
which brings us to now. We've already gone through this April. If you're in this year, you're going to know certain things you've closed the door on, certain things have concluded, certain things have stopped working for you, and they no longer ever will work again. If you keep reaching into karma to grab them back, or your twin does, you're going to have to clear it out again. If you keep engaging in karmic stuff, it's on you now to clear it. No amount of phoning it in or meditating it away is going to fully purge it out and release it. How does it happen? It happens in the same way you first felt each other, through your bodies, through the eyes, through the heart, and through several other body parts. That is the information that I have. So if you focus on karma, you will be dead in the water. Gemini, which is an air sign, Saturn, which is, Saturn is that uh, high, sweet, and deep masculine energy that tends to get things organized, and Uranus, the things of the mind, the intellect, and the areas connected around here. Not on the feet, here, okay? And for a lot of people, this will be um, co connected to jobs, jobs that are overly analytical or require a lot of mental energy. You are ditching the Mars and Pluto aspect. What are those? In a nutshell, fighting, arguing, bickering, um, dissent, conflict, you name it, anything along the lines, yelling, it's going to go. And these energies are bringing order to the chaos. Did anyone feel some of the squares and the transits in the past two weeks? You felt a big push from Saturn. That actually felt like you were being pushed through a tiny little hole and out and into some new space that was very, very confusing or worse, left you feeling mildly ill or very ill, headaches, upper respiratory, skin things, nerve things, throat things, sinuses, and also the feet. This is happening much more easily and breathily as it is the essence, the air aspect. So what are you bringing in from the four corners? It's been water and fire and air and earth or planets and material the material aspects of you. The air is the spirit and the essence, and this will pertain to several of your causal bodies, several of your subtle bodies, one of which is the causal body. Connections to the solar plexus, upper respiratory, pineal, third eye, and the crown. And just to give you an idea here, I have this lovely couple. But every time she tries to see what is he up to, what's he doing, where is he going, who's he going with, what's going on, and it engages a lot of her mental energy. And then she winds up losing the thread. She winds up losing the love and feeling. And he's completely unaware of it, okay? But every time it happens like this, where he falls into the water, and he has to come out again, and someone's got to pull him out. And he falls again into the watery, into the emotion. And how does he get up for air if she's not helping him? She has to help him. And further, this, this is about balance. So if you envision that She's the fire and she's got the passion of the heart. Her heart is full of passion for a lot of things. In fact, almost too many things. There's a little too much here. And there have been things that have happened to um, break up or crack things out. She sometimes has had chest pains, heart palpitations, pains around the chest, the shoulders, the back of the heart and hasn't really known why, even through the eyes, because for a long time she's been trying to see with the human eyes what's exactly going on. And he is the holder, okay? 
and he's got the blue love okay and this is just one example so he's got the water he's got a lot of the emotion but fire can put out uh, water can put out fire and yet fire can also boil water how do they get this going okay how did they do it without squashing each other or collapsing their union again and again how do they keep it going and how do they keep it balanced and how do they balance each other to where they're filling and it's still not equal this has happened through several cycles and as you can see got a little bit more to go here and it's starting but she needs to feel the love and he needs to feel his her passion for him until they are equal and this is equalized so that is that is a lot of what will happen for people who already have been doing the work that they need to do especially the body work because you are not doing this with your mind in fact most of it is just going to simply bypass your mind which is why it gets confusing and that's why I am one of the new earth guides because my entire focus is how do you two get merged so that you can be wild and free like nature and fly with each other again fly and make love in the colors in the beautiful red passion and blue love and purple energy that third thing that you create the third energy of the love so how would you get there well I do have a live group webinar where you can ask questions and participate or you can listen and still participate in me walking you through your energies um, I will soon have the first part which is a six part of basics and the causal body your causal body alignment now part four is this week May 31st June 1st and June 2nd some other helpful things are going to be the webinar I have that's called your light body in transition now a lot of people have a concern of extra weight or their metabolism isn't budging or their twin has addictive behaviors or you feel somehow frozen in time there's a reason you're frozen in time you're being made to stay put until things clear and things get aligned with you however bringing yourself back online because the old version while you get these downgrades what do you do with them then okay you're getting our downloads upgrades um, and you are finding out that you're still confused how are you going to make your mission happen how are you going to make your new calling happen it doesn't happen with the mind it's not in the same old way it happens through your causal body where you cause it to happen you're not living in cause and effect anymore a lot less force a lot more heart is required and so if you have your metabolism or you are removing old timelines which includes old planet systems like Mars and Pluto if your twin has had militaristic lives lives where they fight or they're accustomed to drama guess what those are the Mars and Pluto energies right there showing up right in front of you okay this needs to be made very simple for you because a lot of people bump through this having no idea of what's being released and why and yet the main reason is so that you can be new with each other so that you don't engage in old patterns that you're quite literally now that you've left the matrix that you truly leave the matrix and all its go-to things behind you and it will be false comforts which can be foods it can be alcohol it can be drugs it can be uh, too much sugar too much ice cream too much cake too many cookies too many chips too many crisps too many salty things and it's leaving you lacking so years ago I had this friend and this friend would greet everyone by going up and just kind of squeezing 
a little bit of their belly fat, no matter how fat you were or how skinny you were, and and just say, how are you doing? And she called it Saba. And to this day, this is sort of a catchphrase amongst me and my friends and family where, you know, you're not fat, you just got a little bit of Saba, okay? She somehow managed to diminish it with just this little affectionate gesture and made it right size, made you feel okay. And yeah, if your metabolism is stuck, if your cycles are going haywire and, you know, not winding, that you feel like, you know, what's going on with me? My menstrual cycle was like this, or my sperm count is low, my testosterone is low, my energy level is low. This is a good one for getting you, getting the burn back, getting your metabolism jump starting, getting everything that's been, the solar plexus has been supporting and getting it really going again, okay? And getting you heart connected. The other one, Time of miracles and dreams for concluding your universal karma with people as well as quite a bit having to do with the body and the changes that you'll go through. Because yes, the higher aspect of you, your subtle bodies do operate your systems here. I know that sometimes people don't want to believe it. And even that is a fabrication of the mind. Why? To say that we're separate. You're separate from God. You're separate from your higher self. You're separated. But all you're doing is integrating who you are and bringing in the love that does help you heal. And I hear a lot of you, you're saying, I tried to heal that. It's just never going to heal. Or that's, a, that's an addiction. People never really get rid of it. No, that is a dis-ease of the spiritual body, which is only one of your subtle bodies. I teach you how to get rid of it and be new forever because you're on to your brand new forever here. If you've already met each other, your timeline is this year. Yeah, it is. And from the solstice on, things are going to really pick up a momentum and sort of a crescendo here. you got to be able to ride the wave. Don't leave yourself stuck because we're going to start closing the doors behind us. If you're a little further along and yet you find that you're struggling to erase the past where you're still seeing soulmates, exes, they're showing up even though you've broken up with them, or you're seeing what's going on in your twins union and it's upsetting you. This one here, expansion of love and erasing the past. This part here has to do with expanding parts of your light body and also helping you to clear the areas around here, which includes third eye, eyes, crown, mental, emotional body. Do you have a twin that doesn't want to break up a relationship because they feel sorry for someone? A lot of us do. Some of, you know, breaking up with an abusive person is a lot easier than breaking up with a sweet person. Even when you know it's coming, even when you know that it's for your higher good and for the good of your union. How do you do it? Well, I have that information in here. Some of the phenomenon, you can hear your twin, you can't feel your twin. You're hearing uh, things that feel like guidance, but it feels like it veered off somehow. I call that the wind tunnel effect. I have some of that information in here about that. Now, I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions and readings. If you've already had one and you would like a follow-up, let me know. I have a calendar where you can find out times available. It converts it to your time zone. I do feel the body. How I started doing this almost 10 years ago and even beyond that because I started doing body work when I was 19. So that's quite a number of years. And how I how I got to this point where I'm talking to you through YouTube and I had to wait for the YouTube people to get YouTube ready for me to be able to talk to you. <sighs> That's just a little uh, joke there, but I had to be able to um, know the body and know the things that, you know, while I can talk about the internal mechanisms, you know what I really love to do? I love to get you back to feeling your twin. And that is what I do in the session. If you feel lost, like somehow the twins 
somewhere and they're in the water and you you're wondering if you've lost them forever is this a joke is this some big cosmic joke or maybe you imagined it and your ego mind might tell you these things okay you're not imagining it you didn't imagine all the things that you felt you felt it this is real this is very real and it's about to get realer especially after the solstice and for some people it's really going to be what you have been creating it is going to be the live-in love-in mind-blowing out-of-body experiences and taking care of your responsibilities your kids your career or your calling or your new business and having the proper means to do so you are very well cared for but creating in the old manner well twinflame.exe has stopped working be the new person that you are be the new being the new light angelic masculine and feminine that you are so these links will be down below and also available on my website and I encourage you to check it out there is a description there or join this week if you can't make it I will have the recordings for you this is all about opening your causal body and I've already been doing this with people getting them to open their causal body and clear out the old you're actually clearing out what would be old connections how do you speed it along and how do you support and maintain yourself as you go along here especially with the twin in absentia not always such a bad thing because as I can tell you doing things up close and personal it can be very intense it's easier in some ways very intense in other ways being apart can be intense a little less intense but yet easier in some ways so I don't know this is this is sort of equalizing out even there and just remember that the cup of your heart both of you are filling both of you are having an equally satisfying and filling experience not a lot of you have had that in lifetimes so get yourself ready for what's coming up here check it out I have is there a twin flame manual out there no do you know why there are many many parts to you and I am working on something to um, format this but meanwhile there is this what I tend to recommend is what is helpful for this time for the transition into the solstice getting you prepared so I hope you have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching bye now